that lately the most surprising pens that I've had the pleasure of using have been the new pens. Yeah, the new pens. I, you know, I, I got my first one. I got the Euphoria a couple weeks back and I loved it. And recently I got another pen from the new, but I'm not going to show it to you yet because I'm going to show you two different pens of the same. And we are going to look at today the Scepter and the Grand Scepter. And these pens are very, very interesting looking, but gosh, they're really beautiful. I mean, if you know Banu pens, you know there are there's a lot of glitter in that material. So first, let's take a look at the regular or the scepter. So it comes in, both pens will come in this white box that says Banu on the front. Let me take this off. And once you take off that lid inside, there is another container that says Banu on it, and inside is the pen. So here we go. How can you say no to gold, silver, sparkly gorgeousness? I mean, seriously. I know it's a very unusual shaped pen, but I like it. Obviously by looking at this, there's no way this pen is gonna post. It's just not gonna happen. So it might be a little small for some of you people with bigger hands. But the scepter has this really cool spiraling lined detail that goes all around the pen and the light hits it. And so you just have this spirally motion involved with it. And it even looks like the gold, it looks like gold leaf. And it's just, you know, it's really, it's really beautiful. Let's take off this cap. And so with some of the, like, just like the other Banu pens that I've had, it has this black plastic grid se grip section. And that matches the ring on the bottom of the cap that says Banu on it. So as you can see, it's not going to post at all. No, that's not happening. But it does have a number five Schmidt nib on it. And oh my goodness, you guys, you know, the Banu pens that I've been using, I've been using the Euphoria pens lately, and these Schmidt nibs that I don't know if Banu tweaks them when they get a hold of these nibs or what, but they write really good, and they're always ready to write. Like I will have my pens in a, you know, like that honeycomb thing from Galen, up, propped up like this, and the moment I wanna use it, I take off the cap and it just writes right away. I mean, every time. So let's take off the section. And it does come with a converter. But another cool thing I've discovered about Banu, and I haven't attempted this yet, is that, so all the parts are resin and plastic. Is it resin? Resin's plastic, right? So there's no metal parts, so you could easily eyedropper this pen. And let's see, I mean, it could hold it looks like it could hold quite a bit of ink if you wanted it to. So the other scepter pen, just the regular scepter pen I have and that I have been using is this beautiful one. I, look at that gorgeous red and blue. This one, I this is just like, it looks like Wonder Woman to me. Like this is a superhero pen or something. Somebody else wrote, uh, it looks like Captain Marvel. Looks like Captain Marvel, so yeah. But I just think it looks really cool. This is probably, the scepter that caught my eye is this one. I mean, I was like completely drawn to this pen. So here's the two scepter pens. Now, let's take a look at the Grand Scepter. And you know, it has a lot of similarities, but it does have a couple of differences. So it comes in the same box, the same packaging. And I'm going to take this out. And so the Grand Scepter is different in its own way. So as you can see, it is the same size. But what's different about this material is that this part, these parts right here, glow in the dark. So you have the glow in the dark properties, which is just, to me, that's it's just wild. It's wild on a fountain pen. A fountain pen that glows in the dark. And another difference between this pen and the regular scepter is that it has a bigger nib on it. It has a number six Schmidt nib on it. So the Grand Scepter compared to just a regular scepter, 
you know, there is a bit of a difference between nib sizes. Now, try to see it here. Oh yeah, they're, they're the same exact sizes, same grip sections, just a bigger nib and glow in the dark material. For this particular inking, I will ink both these pens up. So it will make it for a long, a little bit of a longer video, but let's see how these two nibs perform. We've got a number five nib, and then we have a number six still nib. Both of them still nibs. So. All right, so let's see how these write. much for joining me for this look at the Benu Scepter and Grand Scepter pens. Again, we've got another very unique pen from Benu, and that is just the best way I can describe their stuff. I mean, their pens are super unique and they're so cool. They're totally thinking outside the box and making their own creations, and I think it's great. So, and also, as expected, these pens wrote very, very nicely. I really, really liked these a lot. So we've got the difference here between, in this one, we've got a number five nib, and in this one, we have a number six nib. So depending on what kind of nib you like, if you like a bigger nib, or if the nib size doesn't really matter at all, could determine which scepter you get. Another thing that could determine which scepter you get is the price. There is a price jump between these two pens. So a regular scepter pen runs about $88. A grand scepter pen is 110. So that is up to you to determine if a $22 price difference is worth it. If you want a bigger nib and material that glows, 
or if you don't mind a smaller nib. And obviously this isn't gonna glow, but man, there's a lot of glitter packed into this. I mean, this one too, but man, this one has a lot of glitter. So totally up to you. I prefer, I, I actually have no preference. I love them both. I think they're great. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then of course there's this gorgeous, this gorgeousness, so. But I highly recommend Bennu pens. They're a lot of fun. They're great writers and they are just super cool. And I, you know, I'm not really one to turn down anything shiny and glittery. I mean, that's just me, so whatever. Don't judge me. Well, that's all I've got to say about this Banu Scepter pens. Go check them out at your favorite online pen retailers, especially Pen Chalet. And I believe Gold Spot also carries these pens, so yeah. And that's how the ink flows. Oh, 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 oh,